If you look around El Camino Hospital in Mountain View, California, you'll notice a few differences. Fourteen robots roam the halls delivering medication and supplies to nursing stations. Your delivery has arrived. Doctors and staff yes. locate each other using personal communication devices instead of noisy hospital-wide pages. And patients can have their palms scanned to prevent identity theft and medical errors. The hospital recently completed a $480 million rebuilding project to meet California's earthquake safety standards. Technology upgrades were a key part of the overhaul. When it reopened in November 2009, it looked a lot closer to living up to the name it calls itself, the Hospital of Silicon Valley. Many of its new tech products and medical devices come from local companies. But whether these high-tech tools will deliver on the promise of reducing health care costs remains to be seen. We have everything from large companies like Siemens International Players to very local companies that had specialized pieces of uh, hardware or software right here in the Valley. Dr. James Joy routinely shuttles between new hybrid suites that were designed to accommodate a range of procedures that promise heart and vascular patients a shorter recovery time and better results than with traditional surgery. The idea with the hybrid is to kind of marry the, the best of surgery and the best of catheter skills so that we can offer more to the patient with less intrusion. So for instance, uh, a, a vascular surgery that might have required a large abdominal incision or a lengthy leg incision and prolonged hospital stay, we can now do with a small incision and give us access inside the body where with catheters we can do all the repair work that's necessary. Across the street, a new device called the CyberKnife allows certain cancer patients to have only a fraction of the radiation therapy they would otherwise require with no additional risks or side effects. Dr. Robert Sinha directs the new radiotherapy facility. He expects the CyberKnife to draw up to 150 patients this year. The vast majority of patients are going to have brain tumors, both benign and malignant, uh, but we're also going to be treating patients with lung cancer, spinal tumors, pancreatic tumors, liver tumors, and prostate cancer. Using traditional radiation therapy, Dr. Sinha says patients with prostate cancer, for instance, receive treatments every day for seven or eight weeks, but the CyberKnife cuts treatment duration down to four or five days. Because it's a, a much more accurate beam, we can give higher doses per day and that reduces the number of days a patient needs to return. One area the hospital hasn't yet tackled is engaging patients in its electronic health record. For instance, patients cannot check medical test results online or use secure email to contact their doctors. Not all of the hospital's changes were high-tech in nature. Designs for the new tower added family rooms on each floor so patients' relatives can stay close by and share a meal, watch TV or play games while they let their loved one heal. Seven months after reopening, workers at El Camino Hospital are still learning to use all the new technology features now at their disposal. In Mountain View, California, I'm Kristen Garencher.